If you're bored with your gym routine or looking for the motivation to get out there, Adventure Sport is a great way to achieve a toned and lean body. We're back with the sporty businesswoman and recent mom, Heidi Miller. Getting my figure back after I had baby, I don't think it was so difficult for me because I really looked after myself while I was pregnant and I kept on training up to the end. My baby was also a little bit late, so I didn't want to get to Caesar or to be induced. So I actually walked 10 Ks in the last 41 weeks just to get my baby. <laughs> to, so, so I was quite active uh, up to the end until I give birth. And the baby was five days old, we already left for Cape Town and I think 10 days I, start, I had my first run. After I was breastfeeding, I started using CLA again, uh, Fedra Cut and Diet Fuel. I incorporated it into my daily routine, I started training again, and I think that is why I got my body um, quickly back to what it was before. I didn't do intensive training to start training for a race like before. Baby was a little bit small and every hour you have in your day to save, you would, I would like to spend with my baby. With over 60 adventure races under her belt, including almost 10 500 kilometer events, Heidi's no stranger to careful time management and discipline. So I started with a normal 4K run every day. Then the next week it became 5Ks and the next week 6K. So I'm building it up now again to 10Ks every day, seven days a week. And I try to put in a 21 on Sundays. And then every alternative day, like Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, I start with cycling as well. And then somewhere in between, I still need to add another hour or two of paddling. I do another hour or two of weight training. So I think that's making it a full week. It's a mental game. It's definitely a mental challenge every day to stand up and to say, I've got a dream and I've got a goal and, and I want to achieve something. And, and that's a challenge. It's exactly this that attracts so many to the sport of adventure racing. The mental challenge and the fact that you can beat physically stronger athletes through strategy and planning. The best supplement for me is Diet Fuel, a Fedra Cut for, for energy, but while I'm training and racing, it's definitely EpiPro. Adventure racing is definitely for everyone. I think it's a wonderful sport. It's exciting. It's a team sport. You do it with family or friends. It's got everything in it. Get yourself a goal, like everything in life. Start training a little bit for it. Do maybe a smaller event and then if you like it, build it up to the bigger events. If you'd like to find out more about adventure racing, you can go to www.kanetikia.co.za and find yourself a race you would like to compete in. Once you try adventure racing, the biggest kick of all will be discovering a whole side to yourself and you'll be amazed at how much you can achieve. For those moms out there who are looking to get back into shape or just trying to get into a, maybe a physical condition that they're comfortable with. The three basics really apply is that you have to watch what you eat, that it will include your supplementation, you have to train specifically and obviously recover very, very well. The basics for supplementation is to make sure that mid-morning and mid-afternoon meal is met through diet fuel ultra lean. So that'll give you enough protein to protect your muscle mass, enough carbohydrates to stabilize your blood sugar level. It really tricks your brain into thinking that you're full. So when you get to your next solid meal, you don't overeat. FedraCut Ultra XT should be used half an hour before breakfast, half an hour before lunch, and then 2.30, sort of half an hour before your mid-afternoon snack. And that way you really force your system to start utilizing your stored fat mass as an energy source. And you'll be stacking your CLA 1000, taking it after or with every solid meal. You're going to come out with a much leaner, much more toned, defined and conditioned physique. So remember, the first step to success is determining your goal. Decide how important it is to achieve and commit to making the necessary lifestyle changes. As you know, I'm busy training for my big adventure races. What supplementation should I use for, for during training and during races and afterwards? Pre-workout, you can have a look at stuff for the shorter rides or the sprint runs or the sprint uh, you know, marathon sessions. You can have a look at something like Sprint Pro, which is perfect. It's going to up your energy levels, increase energy output, uh, increase strength and power. And that way you're going to have a look at maybe reducing your time out on the, on the bike. Something like Epic Pro All-in-One is ideal for you. It's an ultra low GI carbohydrate usage in there. We're using Pelotinose, which is a licensed product. Very, very low GI. It gives you sustained energy over a longer period of time. But on top of that, you should be looking at other products. Post-workout, Recover Max is perfect. You're going to get a complex of proteins, a complex of carbohydrates, and you're going to give your system time to recover. That's exactly what you need to do. So where can the other athletes get more information? If people are looking for information about the optimal stacks for their needs, as well as the diet and training advice, 
they should contact us either on the website www.usn.co.za or directly on Facebook at USNSA and that way we can really help them manage what they do to get them to their goal. You can do it with healthy food choices, a sustainable exercise regime and a little help from USN. Also sign up to the USN newsletter for products info and have the best summer of your life.